Good afternoon everyone, thanks for uh, coming. My name is Julian Coram, I'm the inspector at uh, Metropolitan Operations Service. Here today to speak to you about National Rail Safety Week. And the theme of this year's National Rail Safety Week is stand back, look up and stay rail safe. So what SAPOL will really want to tell the community is we want need you to stay vigilant around trains, so trams, trains, anything around the rail network. Just be uh, careful when you're using level crossings. So for pedestrians, put your phone down when you approach the level crossing. Use the, tr use the controls that are there, so don't cross against the green man. For motorists, if the hazard lights are flashing and the alarms are sounding, then bring yourself to a stop and let the train pass by. Um, we'll have an increased presence in the next week over Rail Safety Week, where you'll see us at major passenger, uh, major passenger areas and also around level crossings and pedestrian crossings. So Thanks. That vision that aired last night online, mm -hmm. and I understand you have some vision of a car um, like testing the crossings. I guess, what do you make of that when people are trying to rush across the line in front of the train? Yeah, I saw the uh, footage of the two people who are walking across the truck, walking across the lines. So it's really not worth trying to save yourself a few seconds in order to make the crossing. Any interaction between a person and a train or a tram is really unforgiving. So a train can't swerve to avoid you, and a train can't slow down easily, or a tram can't slow down easily as well. It's going to take a few hundred meters. So you really need to be careful when you're using the level crossing, and don't cross against the red man if it's a controlled one or if it's a passive crossing look stop look and listen so look both ways just because one train has gone past doesn't mean that another one isn't coming and you mentioned there'll be more um, emphasis on on crossings for pedestrians obviously we've seen in the past few months uh, some pedestrians get hit by trains at these crossings um, We've spoken about how the gates aren't quite operating yet, lights are covered. Is that a concern or is that something that we've looked into more? But there's hundreds of crossings across the state. The, the standard which every pedestrian or rail user should do is they'll stop at the crossing, look both ways, regardless of whether it's a passive crossing or one with alarms, look both ways, listen for anything and cross when it's safe to do so. Oh, we've currently got an, an active investigation in relation to that. I haven't got any information about the review of any infrastructure. Also, I guess, issues with the caller line. Is there a reason why there seems to be a fair few accidents on that particular line too? I, I don't, don't think there's been any increase in accidents. It's maybe something to do with uh, the fact the community had a period of time without observing trains in that area. And now that they're back, just go back to the uh, message of stop, look and listen and cross when it's safe to do so because they are back and whether they're quieter or louder with the new trains I'm not sure but you just need to be vigilant. Is the electrification yeah, sure. of that line do you think that maybe contributed to people's unawareness of trains on that line? Um, not necessarily. The fact that the trains haven't been running for a period of time whilst the upgrade's been underway and that might be a factor given that people have not had the absence of trains for a while and now they're back they just need to pay attention to what they're doing when they're crossing uh, at level crossings and pedestrian crossings. And we also had um, vision that went to air on Friday night about these vandals they came up to a train on the Blair line um, and they have spray painted the side of the train. I guess how dangerous is that for these, um, this group of people to come up to a train like that? Yeah so that is really dangerous. There's going to be a, a train that's going to start moving. People have come and graffitied it. It's completely unacceptable. It's really dangerous as well. Um, what I would do is urge anybody that has information regarding this incident to contact Crime Stoppers, please. Do we know if this group's done something like that before? So it seemed like a pretty thought out um, attack on the train there. Oh, I've got no evidence to suggest it's part of a series now. And do you know how much an incident like that would cost? Obviously, it is just pain, but it's quite. It's quite a lot. How much would something like that cost to fix? Obviously, it's not just the cost of the paint, it's the cost of the community, the disruption to the rail service, because the train has to be taken out of action for quite a significant period of time. So, yeah, there's a, there's a greater cost involved, but I haven't got a dollar figure for you.
Thanks, Sal. Cheers.